the DM is <laughs> is off the rails. <laughs> He's drunk on his own power. <laughs> saving it, though, if not entirely intact, uh, from the drow invasion. Having gaining thanks from Thane and making your way out of the city, you you got back up with Sir's parents, with whom you still sit, after having just dropped quite the bomb. Can Wait you... for a long time to say this. The time is yours. Can someone remind me? Could we all hear that, or was that just to you? Uh, were you listening to their conversation? <laughs> I think if memory serves, and forgive Old me, because there. it's been since July, we were stepped back so you guys could have a moment. Yeah, because your dad didn't want to have this conversation either, so right. he, he wasn't there. He, he, off. Uh, yeah, he did. So if My memory, brother was there, because he said something. If memory serves, I've been ready to throw hands, but not mm-hmm. doing it yet. I believe how we ended was she came up and hugged me, and I was just kind of like... Yeah, that is. So, we pick right back up. Seeing you not warmly react, she moves away and wipes tears from her eyes and looks a little sheepish. uh, And just sort of stands there. Expectantly. Well, what's your plan now? Are you going back to the capital? I don't know. I suppose I don't quite know. Um, well, this obviously hasn't come through, and not much to show for all this excitement. I suppose we'll, we're resilient folk. Um, I expect we'll just make our way back to the capital and figure something else out. You're still on your own? Yeah. I'm still, I haven't moved. I'm still hung back. I'm just kind of like waiting mm-hmm. for her to do something completely out of line. Do you ever decide you're changing your mind about look at my not bed? There's a keep. I own a fourth of it. You could go there if you wanted, the two of you. Just the two of you. Well, I, I couldn't. I couldn't just abandon you, your, your father. But that's the way you feel. None of me especially, but myself and none of my friends would be here if it weren't for second chances, so. Well, there is a wisdom there. Well, it's good to know that the office stands. Um, I'm so sorry, uh, uh, sorry for everything, and I don't know if the truth is more of a burden, or if it will set you free, but it's finally good to... I'm glad somehow that you know. Thank you for telling me. At least now I know why. Don't judge him too harshly. You understand it wasn't easy for one in his position. It's kind of you to offer your home. Clearly you've done well for yourself. It's more than I deserve. Thank you. Well, um, I expect we shouldn't be off. Um, I do hope we get to see each other again, perhaps. We'll be in the capital again, I'm sure, so. I'm sure you will. Hero champion that you are. Whether it's worth a copper or not, I'm quite proud of you. Sorry. Silently crying. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be off, I suppose. Perhaps we'll see you in the big city. Take care of yourself. Me too, sorry. 
，继承这个样子。Um, what can we do for you? Something you always do, just be here with me, be my family. I think you did that very well. Remarkable restraint. Not as remarkable as Severin's. That was not mine. Either. Thank you. I was making a poor joke. What I said about second chances is true. I just thought. From what she said, she did try. So. So silly. And the moment I saw them, I just thought, maybe now will finally be enough. You don't know that. Not for them. It is not a decision you can make for them. No. It was kind of you to offer. And if they. Desire a more rustic life. They can certainly find their way to live in ruin. If, well, if they can swing an axe or bake, <laughs> your brother certainly could swing an axe. It's getting warm, sure. He can drop a sword. It's very kind of you, Hans. Thank you. Oh, certainly. It is not. <laughs> there, there are many people who live in different land. I, we are not the only ones, of course. We have done all of the three things that the successors requested to the best of our ability. And they will want you to reside. Yes. It was in poor taste to go meddle in something as mundane as that way, with so much blood at hand. It will affect many people. And may affect how they deal with the larger threat. Nothing else that would give them a sense of peace, at least, or comfort in some way. Direction. Yes. And they do need to marshal themselves against this threat, for whatever that's worth. I think we are pretty tapped at the moment, so for tonight we we should have to rest somewhere. Yes. Did we pass anywhere walking to Karadrin? Was there like on the main roads? Were there any sort of halfway? Oh yeah, you could, well, like a place to an inn or something. Yeah, yeah definitely, hundred percent. I mean, you you came by river most of the way here. Yeah, um, but yeah, you know, we have the foldable boat. We do. You do have the foldable boat. Oh, it's we like a proper boat. boat. We could sleep on the boat. You could sleep on the boat. <laughs> yeah, or there are inns by the way, if you so choose, and have the coin, which I'm sure that you do. We do. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I could have given them some money. Oh well, too late. <laughs> yeah. They could have given you some money. They could have given me a hug. Yeah. Any point in the last 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Better 21 than ever. Or not. Huh? Um, so we sleep on the boat? I, uh, I'm not opposed to not being around other people for a while if sleeping on the boat is something that we could manage. The river is nice and calming. Right. Any preference, Kashak? No. The rigging or a tree? No. No. To the river then, I think. Hmm. So is the plan to head back to the capital or uh, is there a stop you want to make along the way? I think we want to at least... I'd like to just spend a night on the boat without going anywhere. Just yeah, yeah. Anchor. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just to just to chill. We yes. kind of just witnessed some horrors. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can hop right back on the river from uh, the uh, yeah the river runs by right by Karajan, so you can just hop back on the river and make your way back as you so choose. Great. Okay. Yeah. So you open up that foldable boat given to you by your uh, your business partner Axel. <laughs> I see those. <laughs> Look, we give him money. He gives us a foldable boat. We don't ask him what he does with it. Why he was naked? He gives us a photo of love with it. <laughs> Seems like a pretty sending stones too. Also, yeah. that. who's got those right? He's living off the wrong okay. orientation for this. Yeah, well, <laughs> maybe we should have a chat every time we split up and like hand the sending stones off. <laughs> we can do that. So yeah, so you uh, fold the boat out to its big size, leaving plenty of room for the four of you. Right. It's only four. There's no one else with us. Yeah, we're gonna be hangers on. The baby with you. Yeah. Easy. Didn't you leave him in Mallorn? No. No. Okay. Never mind. Was I supposed to? You. No. I just didn't. I just didn't remember. But yeah, pops out to its full size, and uh, yeah, plenty of room. Uh, and even uh, in its big size, it does come with an anchor, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you can weigh anchor and just uh, let the night pass clearly under the uh, the flat. Once now, once you're out of the city, and it opens up onto the flat plain, the wide sky slowly darkening around you and you can bed down for a night. Anything for the night on the boat? Should we keep a watch? Not a bad idea. I will do the first one. I'll take the second one, I guess. I'll do the third. Roll for wolves. <laughs> oh, those wolves. Those river wolves. Ah, uh, Barovius. Well, you know, uh, you know, you've already met a troll on the river. Who knows what else? <gasps> the wolves better be singing. <laughs> the night passed on eventfully? It did! Huzzah! Woo! During my watch, I'll just be strumming our little loot a little bit. I'm keeping one eye open for Surrey, and I'm keeping the other eye open on the boy so he doesn't throw himself into the river. <laughs> Tries a few times, but you get <sighs> scoop. He gets sick. Actually, he gets he gets motion sick on the boat, so he throws up a few times. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> do that thing that you do to a dog. <laughs> 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 No, his voice isn't getting deeper. <laughs> no, his balls aren't dropping. No! It's been a minute. Yeah. Oh my god, he's going through puberty. That's why he's so difficult. I'm a man. No, he's not. <laughs> I'm an owlbear man. <laughs> yes, so, you all get the longest of rests. You wake the next day. A pleasant, though chill morning. And we're back. starting to move into the fall. So... Plan as it stands could, I think, stand to be a bit more fleshed out because all I have at the moment is get back to the capital, choose successor, question mark, <laughs> profit. It just, it feels like there's so much. There is. It's not even a loose end. It's like the whole end of the rope has gone all frayed and there's a million different pieces. We don't have to tie them all back together at once. It does not do well to think of it so big. We can focus on one thing at a time. We were hoping to catch up in two weeks uh, with the Canny Shepherds. Yes. To see their performance, to get perhaps information, I think. Yes, in the Keeplands, I believe. Uh, yes, that was in the Keeplands, so we still have two weeks for God. that. Right. <laughs> to see where we could maybe find us, I any. Yes. <clears throat> That's important. That's the most important. I don't know whether she would agree. Well. <laughs> but I do. I guess it's the capital it is. I think that's yes. the thing we can most tangibly affect right now. Kishek, would you mind? Or a tree. The There's trees right. around. Yeah. Right, I will fold up the boat. I forget you guys can <laughs> teleport now. Boat folds back up, step through a tree. Magic is really neat. It is. Yeah. You can make a boat if it is a pop. You can make a tree, a different tree. Do you have a tree in mind in the capital? You, there's, you just go right to the courtyard, right? That's what we did last time. Yeah. All right, giddy up. Yeah, and so you do. And emerging back out in the bustling courtyard. Well, it's not bustling anymore. But anyway, uh, back out into the courtyard of the Ducal Palace. Again, you see it lined with soldiers all bearing that insignia of the winged she-lion bearing a sword. And as you make your way out, they at, at first appear a little put off at, you know, suddenly manifesting yourselves within the courtyard. But before too long, they'll recognize you and, you know, level their halberds back up once again. And give you each a little bit of a nod. 
what would you like to do? Apologies. Uh, you know, the, the, the songs always sing of the heroes moving in mysterious ways, but I never pictured it quite like that. Neither did I, to be fair. Well, you are to your own business, Master. Shall <laughs> He's a good man. The dad moves to the point. He's a good guy. <laughs> I like that guy. Shall we try the maneuver we pulled last time in talking to all three of them at once? I, it and seems do we have a choice what do you of mean? which one? <laughs> <laughs> we've talked about it so many times and we've never come to a consensus. But we can do it again. We can talk once more. Let's go to our room. Right. Making your way to the palace and inside and heading to the wing where you know your personal loaned chambers to be. You make your way there and you see Chauncey standing outside. He's speaking to someone, a figure. They're back to turn to you as you make your way across the path. Why do you always do that? Because <laughs> it's always a sketchy room. Don't, don't Why do you always do that? Let <laughs> me put the guns up. There's a sketchy figure in the hall. Didn't say sketchy. that. <laughs> Talking to our favorite old man. He said a person, a figure, and you were like, it must be sketchy. <laughs> Who hurt you? It's a joke. Anyway, it's making your way across the floor, <laughs> uh, the figure, you see Chauncey uh, speaking to the man and then see, noticing you coming, he gets a wide grin across his face and then turns back to the figure with whom he was speaking and points in your direction. The figure turns, revealing himself to be Angiers. Who you haven't oh. seen since <laughs> okay. those many weeks ago. <laughs> you do this Months. to your fucking self. Months. I swear to God. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just you, when I trust you, you take my heart and crumble it into little pieces. Yeah, well, you know. I do, well, so every once in a while, I gotta do, uh, give you a softball so it hurts all the more when I do it the next time. Yeah, you're right. You know how DT works. Yeah, there's a bit newer. Anyway, you haven't seen him since the attack. Since the he was uh, wounded, he was wounded rather Very rather uh, gravely Mortally. in the he when the statue board. exploded. And indeed, you see, he's con- he's lost a considerable amount of weight. His hair was thinning when you first met him, but now it has gone pretty gray, and he's rather bald on top. He's lost a considerable amount of weight, and you can see some scarring across one side of his face where the shrapnel took him, and he also was walking with a cane, but. Aside from all that, he still gets that jovial look on his face as he sees you all come. Oh, well, if it isn't the heroes of Arcadia, my, it has oh, been God. too long, hasn't it? Oh, it's good to see you. I, I was just talking to your man here, inquiring about your Talk truth, to you, your, your whereabouts. Man. Yes, mistress. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. Whatever you say, mistress. <laughs> It is good to see you up and about, my friend. Oh, yes, well, and I remember from the carriage ride. We yes. left you somewhere about the Riverlands, if I recall. Oh, yes, uh, on my way back home, I was. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, well, welcome to the capital all the same. I have heard through the grapevine that you had a bit of handy work up in Caradron, much the same effect as all you did. Oh, yes, uh, where it must travel fast. <laughs> it certainly it does here in the Republic. Those in the know cannot afford not to be in the know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do you, do you need coming. a seat? No, 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 I'm quite all right. Please do excuse me. Uh, the attack on my life has left me uh, somewhat weakened, but in no less good humor. So, <clears throat> The attack on my life has left me no weakened. It was much having to have a conversation with you all now that I'm uh, much on the mend and resumed many of my duties as chancellor. Wonderful. Um, yes. And very good to see you. Oh, yes, you up and man. about and doing well. The joy is only mine. Uh, but uh, you must be weary from your travel. Uh, shall I give you a moment to uh, freshen up and come meet you in an hour? That would be lovely. Yes. Please, thank you. Most excellent. <laughs> so <coughs> good to see you all again. Yes, well, do enjoy. I hope you've been finding the capital to your liking uh, in between your many sordid adventures and tales. Absolutely. I've never been a place more like it. <laughs> but I must ask, where is Mistress Alcione? Oh, she is still tending to matters. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Well, you, <laughs> you know your business best. I'll leave you to it then. Wash the road from you and all that. Uh, I shall see you soon. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. And he canes his way away. 
a little hobbly. Chauncey. Yes, mistress. I know there's destined to be mail for us. Yes, mistress. May, I, may we have it, please? Girls, yes, but of course. Uh, I've taken the liberty of sorting all the ones out from Lady Starfall. You are a godsend. <laughs> <laughs> they all say relatively the same thing, you understand, mistress. Yes, thank you, Chauncey. He uh, holds out a, a silver tray with a few assorted things upon it, and you are free to head to your chambers. Into the chambers. If you don't want to bother reading them, I, I can do it. They all say relatively the same thing. I mean the ones who are not from her. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, I can, unless you'd like to read them, I, I can, any one of us is capable of doing it. The concepts seem to exhaust you. Only the ones from Marianne. Very well. What are, what are the, as we're going into our chambers, what, what is the other? Did I get a publisher's clearinghouse? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please donate. The one is about your car's extended warranty. Uh, no. Uh. Uh, one is my alma mater begging me for more money. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh huh. No, one of them. One of them is from Axel. He says, "Oh fuck! What was the last one? What was the last thing you paid him for? I'm sorry. It's been a long." We upgraded time. I don't the. Know. I think we upgraded the sh- his shop front. The, his shop front. To get a, yeah, to get a plot, right? The, we he yeah. had the plot. Then we gave him uh, more money to build. Oh, the shop on great. It. Okay. Oh, okay. He's like set up in theory. Yes. Now. Right. 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 He's got his Howl's Moving Castle coat. That's right. That's right. Stop. That's right. I can't think about it. Yeah, he sure does. Barf. He's got fangs. Yeah, he sure does. That part I could ignore because he's insufferable. <laughs> it's not that bad. Yeah, he's like, remember before when I said like some of us were being kind of hot right now? <laughs> Isn't that weird? You meant Axel? No, I meant Ven. You hate him. Uh, That's why I looked at you weird yeah. when you said that. Oh. But like he was being kind of hot. I know? understand. No, I get it. In that case, one of them is from Axel, saying it's an invitation to the grand opening of the Queen's Etc. Which is when? Whenever you show up. Oh, it was last night. Fuck. Ah. Uh, we missed the little cheese toasties. Bruh. One uh, has a, a glowing exclamation mark over it. <laughs> Great. Oh, no, it's about to turn into challenges to a Pokemon. How'd though. they get that to happen? <laughs> uh, it's from Basta Ferenz, who you remember oh. recalled to be the owner of the Seven Cats saying that she has missed your company, and whenever you're feeling, she would love it if you could stop by the Seven Cats. Well, i got to take a Benadryl first. Mm, that's Why right. is that one important? I'm scared. Uh-oh. Because uh, Axel moved in right next door, and she keeps having to bang on the wall with the room. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps getting getting these enormous cakes delivered. And I, don't, I don't know what... Why does he need so many cakes? Anyway, and that's it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, this one has a big glowing exclamation point over it. Weird. <laughs> Wait, literally, or? I don't know. No, I don't think that was literal. Oh, okay. No, not literally. The, just, um, yeah. the owner of the Seven Cats wants to chat with us. She misses our company. Oh. Not to be rude, but that's a bit strange, considering I sneezed most of the time that I was in that establishment. How many times He's... have you been there? Twice? Twice, but I haven't really had a lot of time to be around cats in my life. Oh. Marianne would like us to come to brunch, dinner, lunch, brunch, dinner, brunch. No. No, not happening. And uh, Axel et would open for business. like us to come to the grand opening of the Queen's Etc. When is that? It says... Well, there's a big ink smudge over the date. <laughs> <actually. laughs> it says, uh, whenever you get here, winky face. Oh, he, and he drew a little he, winky he, face. He, he drew it sideways, though. I don't know why. <laughs> he drew a little aubergine. I'm not really sure what that's about. <laughs> Was that actually seven cats? Yeah. Do we know their name? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I gotta write them down. Sure, I made a table. I made it, and I listed them all. Uh, Mm -hmm. Hang on. Where is it? Where is it? Each one more edible than the last. Stop. (laughs) We're not eating them. You don't know what we served you in Urban Glen? (laughs) Saren's probably of the mind that, like, if someone prepared it for her, she doesn't have any qualms and will probably eat anything. We did eat a lot of wolf in Barovia. Yeah, and that would make me, Madison, sick to my stomach. Yes, Esper, Umber, Vexer, Valor, Tinker, Taylor, and Sam. Remember it, because it'll be a password for something later. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Okay, great. There's the mail. It never fails. It, Correct. it doesn't. It makes me want to wear something. Should hey, we eat in your this? room? <sighs> sure. Yes. How oh, I thought we were. <laughs> How muddy is this little boy? Uh... 
Muddy? Well, when was the last time you were in mud? Oh, way. I don't know. It's just he keeps trying to throw himself in mud at every opportunity. Oh, well, he just moved. We just walked through a tree, so we didn't have much opportunity. Yes. So yeah, the mud didn't come with him. Cool. So he doesn't need a bath. No. All right. Bowl him down from wherever he's going. <laughs> he rolls into a ball like a panda. Yeah. And starts some something across the floor. Nice. Yes. So, yes, anything before your meeting with Enjaz? We have an hour before the man returns. Let's talk. Uh, I so. feel like I may have hurt Bernard's feelings. Probably, yes. I yes, no know. offense, but that is not difficult to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Ow. I did not... Oh, oh, no, now I heard your feelings. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, you're right. I... I just mean that for your many excellent qualities, um, tiptoeing around others' emotions is not among them. I didn't mean to. I, I, you know. I do like him. He just seemed like it would make him really unhappy to run a country. Correct. From what I've seen of the man, I think you have the right of it. But part yes. of me th- sort of thinks that that would make him a good leader. Not that I want him to be unhappy, but if he doesn't really want it, then you know that he's not doing it for selfish reasons. That seems like a strange metric. I don't know. I understand what you're saying, but I don't think that will be helpful given the the state of the world. That's all. But I do understand where you're coming from. I just don't think... It's rich that it's me saying it, but I'm not sure that violence alone is going to solve this and... From what I know of Casca, she's got a hammer and everything looks like a nail. And you know... It's a good way to put it. It's not even the, the people below that are my worry. I'm worried about what happens if we defeat this Vonakin thing, if everything goes back to normal with my people underneath. I'm just worried about the surrounding countries and Barovia and... What happens then? Again, I do understand your worry, but I mean, everything she's really talked about has been from defense. You're right. That's not to say she couldn't go on the offense. I'm sure she's more than capable of it, but... Those are my thoughts. That's all. I do not know these three very well, but it is hard to argue with the notion that uh, these times require a stronger hand, as it were. Though from what I have heard and seen thus far of Elasia, it does not seem that she is a pushover. No. No. And what time is not what they are. I would have less reservations about wholeheartedly putting my support behind her, but... They do need someone to defend them. There's an obvious choice. Just because Casca's not the Duchess doesn't mean That's there's true. no army, right? That's true, and I, I have to believe that she would still act in official capacity there, and Alicia would have the final word. I don't like how she was treating us earlier when we... Casca? Yes. Yes. But is that a personal feeling? This is bigger than us. That's true. That is true. It is bigger than us, which is why I feel quite a lot of pressure to make the right decision. Yes. Kishak, do you have any thoughts? My choice is very different from Kishak's, and I'm trying to think. Uh, (laughs) I was like, your head hurty? That's fair. I will say this. I have more faith in us dealing with Casca than us dealing with the Heralds. That was a thought I didn't necessarily want to say out loud, but that's true. How do you mean? Well, and he looks at whatever you are now. I guess he doesn't actually look that much different, does he? No, he's just got this massive, like, Grand Canyon in his... That's what I mean. ...torso. You know, he's so... We did not fare very well against the Heralds the first time, and if Casca... We could use her help repelling the heralds and putting that matter to bed. And then if she ends up being overzealous in her new position, I would have more faith in the four of us or the three of us in Alcyone dealing with her mm-hmm. than we currently are capable of doing with the heralds. 
Mm-hmm. And perhaps we will not need to do that at all. That is also true. Yes. I would hope. So we are of the opinion that Casca is right now the better choice. Better and smarter. Who's to say? Yes. Yes. She is the necessary choice. Yes. Well said, Kashuk. Not that I'm happy about it. No, nor am I. Mm-hmm. Perhaps Angiers will shed some light on the situation <laughs> when he comes back. I don't know if there is one right answer. That's the thing that makes this so difficult. There is no correct answer. No. Angiers, is that you? No, mistress, it's me. Oh, hello, Chauncey. Mr. Angiers is here to see you, however. Oh, thank you, Chauncey. And Tangiers makes his way in and uh, slowly closes the door behind himself. Yes, well, refreshed, I trust, from your long journey. Sure, yes. You know, I, I must admit something. In hearing of your daring ventures across our fair republic, I, I must admit, I'm rather impressed and proud in a strange sort of way. When I met you all, you were heroic. Uh, don't mistake me, certainly you'd been through a harrowing journey all your own that I could only begin to have knowledge of, but uh, well, to where, yeah, for go from there to where you stand now, well, I can't help think that it harmonises with many of the songs that we hear in Arcadia hold very dear. Yet I can't help but feel a certain amount of pride in bringing you here. I know I've been out of commission for some time since the uh, events of the festival, but I have watched your progress from afar, when it has done my heart much good. I just want you all to know. Thank you. It's very kind Thank of you. you. You're very welcome. And yet, much as I wish it were, these glad tidings are not the reason I come, but instead, in a more official manner as Chancellor, it is I approach you now. The vote cannot be delayed much longer. The senators grow impatient and scared, and when senators grow scared, mistakes get made. The successorship must be rectified. I brought you here because I thought, well, Arcadia loves a hero, and If you could prove yourselves to the people of this land, which you most certainly have done, that your words would carry much weight in the proceedings. The vote will be called very shortly, and I would have you speak. Do you feel comfortable and prepared to do so? Oh, not at all. Ah, well, duty calls, as they say. We will offer what we can. We have, I think, I don't know if made of our minds is the right word, but we have uh, Come resolved. Come to an agreement. Yes. Good. Good. It shall proceed as follows. The senators will take their seats, and then each of the successors will have a chance to speak on their own behalf, and then I will introduce you as champions, heroes of the songs, you may say your part. Please uh, uh, take some time to consider what it is you'd like to say. I, I don't want to rush these things on you, but the time has come. Uh, it is time to choose a successor. Y- you may, if you wish, speak to one or all of them before casting your... Well, casting a vote is a rather <laughs> impromptu way to speak of it, but that's where we are. I know this is not something light I ask of you. It is difficult to take the woes of a nation on your shoulders, but unfortunately the only ones who can are those with sturdy shoulders. And I saw that in all of you immediately. So though it is not fair this responsibility should fall to you, I am in my selfish way glad that you are the ones here to take the weight. We hope not to let you down. No, you couldn't. Mr. Angiers, I know it's terribly improprietous of me to ask. Mm. But behind closed doors, yes. I would ask you the same question I did ask months ago. Mm. 
Were you making your choice? Well, as the Chancellor, I am restricted from casting a vote. I merely oversee the proceedings. I shall answer the same way that I did the last time you asked me that question. I think any of them can do it. We just need to pick one and be done with it. I think there is wisdom in that. Yes. Sorry not to be a more help. It's all right. I've got very sturdy shoulders. It makes me feel better, actually. Yes. Troubling times in the kingdom, as you've come to see yourself. Having this one thing off of our plates would be a great relief, I imagine. I've got a very full yes. plate. <clears throat> is it worth speaking to them first? I don't think so, honestly. They will have gotten word of our exploits in Karadrin. They don't really try to convince us. I don't think we need anything... I don't think I personally need anything mucking up my mind now to put any more doubt into it. If either of all the three of you would like to speak, please feel free, but... I'm a very simple man and I have nothing that I think I can add to the conversation. I am fine not speaking to them beforehand. Well, whatever you choose to do, if you're prepared, I'll call the vote this afternoon. That would be well with us. Yes. Mm. Oh, exciting days. Ah, well, I shall have someone come and fetch you when it's time. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And he turns and goes. I wish I'll sign you here. <laughs> so do I. Yes. She was better at these things. Though she didn't like the decision any more than any of us. She's comfortable in front of a crowd, at least. <laughs> well, she gets that from me. Do you think we have time to pop down bother Axel before... Well, I don't know if he's going to have his grand opening here in the middle of the day. Well, I'm not really sure what it is or what it was or what it even is. No offense, but how grand could it be? I... <laughs> we found him naked. I do not know. Yes, but we've given him a lot of money in the meantime. Oh, yeah. I think that might be something at least we can set aside time for. We don't want to say hello and then immediately have to leave to go do this thing. He can wait, I think. Perhaps this evening. Mm. Don't you think they're going to do some kind of big to-do after they pick a successor? Oh god, that sounds horrible! I have no idea. Why? Oh, you mean the to-do sounds horrible? Yeah. We don't have to go. I guess we could mallow on goodbye it. We will have done the part that elves are yes. Irish. You oh, see. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. We will have done the part that we came here for in the first place. Yes, and then what? I don't think they'll kick us out of the rooms. No, I'm not. No, I don't think so either, but we'll have done the thing we came here to do. What do we do then? Well, we have two weeks till we have our next lead on finding our Cyane. That's two weeks to do whatever we find urge to do. Perhaps I don't... I do not wish to make things about me, but I have a limited amount of time. And selfishly, I would like to extend that as much as possible. Of course, You yes. understand? Yes, yes, of course. Perhaps we could together see Brovia again. Yes. Yes, that's what you want to do, Iris, yes. If we want to, we could visit Doric, we could of course, yes. see Castor, we could see yes. everyone. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. I, yes. It's all right if not. No, yes, that's... Maybe he'll like being back, I don't know. Yeah, no, that was my thought as well. You can see the tree. Yeah. It'll be good to see the Mardikos again. If this... I, I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. If, the, if you do not want to do this no, thing, you no, can I do, say no, so. No, I do. It's, it, we should. And yes. I'm, I think we should check in with Irina as well. With a certainty. Yeah. She had concerns 
the temple and all that. <sighs> the temple. And the poor lich man. Mm-hmm. He was nothing but kind to us. It's true. Yes, we'll go. If I wanted to get in touch with the Drastus, how might I do that? I don't. I just have an axe. (laughs) (laughs) Right. (laughs) He's the sword. He tends to send messages and I would respond to them. They're always strange hearing a voice in your head that you know is your son's and then you go, oh, hello, and then he only hears the first 25 words you say for some reason. I don't know. That's an oddly specific number. I count good. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I I was only thinking that at the same time it might be good to see Peruvia. We did have a very small bit of business at the Mages College. And I'm I'm not meaning to do one before the other, I just... I think I'm overwhelmed by... There's quite a bit that we could do if we haven't got this big thing to do. What did you have to do with the car? He left some stuff with someone important. He wanted us to go thieve for him. Do we feel like sitting here and spinning our wheels until... I just think that Axel can wait. Okay, um... Maybe. Axel can wait. We see this cat lady. That was where I was going. It's, I think... With the weight of this thing on our minds, we need to... um, I know we've done a lot of walking, uh, but we need to perhaps, I think, go to a place that has seven cats, um, and then... And alcohol. That is good, too. You will feel more confident. Very, very important. (laughs) You will feel more confident with a bit of spirit in you. Liquid courage. Can you go? Hey, this is your game. (laughs) I will not do that. I just meant, like, one drink to relax. Sarah oh. gets plastered and is like, yes. I don't want to vote for any of you. You should be collective. Here's a PowerPoint about communism. <laughs> <laughs> you were all kind of mean to me, except Bernard, but I want Bernard to do Bernard it. Bernard was kind of being hot before, so. <laughs> he wins my vote. But I think he's got a thing with that Irishman who lives with him. I don't know. It's called a- The gnome? No, yeah. it was, no, it was, no, it was his roommate from college who is now in theater. Sindri Stumbleduck? Yeah, who was wet. <laughs> well, yeah, I think he'd just come from the ocean. He went to a tongue dimension. He did. Remember? He I went lied. to it a tongue dimension. T- yeah, yeah, the tongue dimension. We've all, We've all seen, seen it. it. He was a professor of conjuration, and uh, some experiments went wrong, and now he teleports at random. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so what's the plan? Oh, what is that, a cat lady? I was thinking about the tong dimension. My bad. He's <laughs> trying to grab some stuff. Yeah, let's go to seven cats for seven brothers. And you go. Uh, great. So, ooh, question. Yes. What's, the, like, the vibe of the city walking through it? Like, are things a little more mm, tight? Walking back through the, the courtyard, uh, you see, you, get, you catch a lot of staring glances from many of the nobles, as you often get. Ugh. And then make your way into the... Oh my uh, god, wait, are any of them the Starfalls? No, don't roll for it! Would you remember what they look like? Yes. All right. Yes. No! Oh, I stare at my own absolute Why? bestest of friends. Why do you do this? Hey, Goodness bestie. Great. Hey, hey bestie. Are, you are harder to get a hold of than a Tarask, my darling. It has been so long since we've seen each other. So oh, oh where have you been hiding me? Bye. I bow very deeply. <laughs> Oh, you know, there was all that nasty business in Karadrin. Oh, uh, yes. The murdering and, and the, the uh, you know, homelessness and... Yes, dreadful thing I hear. So interrupted it has in the silver tray. Oh, gosh, I hope it doesn't make it too difficult to restock the jewelry stores in town. You understand? Mm. You know, actually, we were terribly busy at the moment, but we were going to attend the grand opening of a new shop in town, and I think that you and the owner would just get along so fabulously... An opening. Oh, how charming. Oh, I am one for festivities. Mm. Well, you simply must tell me where and when. Well, that's the thing. It's a bit of an open invitation. I think he's waiting for us. Kind oh, well. Exclusive. Uh, well, then, as your best of friends, I shall accompany you into town. I know all the best avenues. Oh, no, no, no. It's, we, we were going to tomorrow. 
Oh, tomorrow? Well, very well then. Perhaps we meet before in for a bit of a luncheon and pretty ourselves before taking the air. Yes, but I won't take no for enough. I hardly think there's anything about this that can be improved. It's just so hard to do, you know. I've given up. Oh, Saren. Surely, even with features such as yours, there are still miracles that can be worked with the proper application of beautiful beauty products. Uh, Never you mind. wasting them. They're so expensive. Anyway, we were going to pop out, right? We have to go see cats. Let's go. Cats? The seven cats? Oh, I'm best friends with the barmaid there. Oh, I simply must come along with you. It's been so long since I've wet my whistle. Sorry. That was me reacting. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's where we're going to be. Yep. Well, then I shall accompany you. I was meaning to take the air anywhere. Well, let's have be about it then. Of course. All right. I guess we go. <laughs> I think need a drink now. <laughs> Let's get this Why one. did you ask? Why did you I have to ask? I don't know. She wanted to be shitty. <laughs> it's a fucking, yeah, no. that's what you get for trying to be shitty. I'm sorry, Trevor. <laughs> Fuck. Only no, I get to be shitty. It was great. No. Let's get her drunk enough to start talking about her marital issues and then leave her there. Uh, yes, yeah, so. <laughs> You make it your way into town, all the while being updated on the hot goss uh, about the palace. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, so as you can imagine, this whole success and nonsense has got everyone in quite a tizzy. And I, you know, you see, the other day, Yvette was saying to me, oh, well, what will we do if we can't pick success? And I said, Yvette, politics is all one big fumper knuckle. All right, it doesn't matter who's in charge. All the businesses, are, the ones who are in charge are all our husbands anyway. What is going to change? It doesn't matter who sits in the big chair. Silly dish. She doesn't know many, much the way of the world, but she's a dreadful cook all the same. Anyway. Uh, is it, oh, good, is it good? Is it a good thing? Anyway, I don't know if we've met, been properly introduced before. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Um, I, I am Hyros. Oh, Hyros, what a big, strong name you have. Oh, uh, yes. Big, strong man. Yes. Yeah. Oh, don't be worried. You can kiss, don't you? Uh, <laughs> oh, you brute. Oh, yeah. That's perfectly charming. We'll have to teach you some manners. I should be most pleased to educate you. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so wait. I don't remember you take having along this husky champion the last time you were all bound. Oh, no, no, no. How dare you hide such a prized cut of meat from me, Sarah, and you brag. Uh, <laughs> this is our Siony's father. Oh, yes, I remember the wordy one, the the, the, the bard, yes? Yes. Uh, as I remember, she put on quite the show. Uh, I guess she gets all of her good looks from you, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> she looks a lot more like her mother, actually. Your wife, Hyros, is that yes. right? Yes, I completely and totally agree. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but our sign is yellow. <laughs> Gold, I would say. Gold, yes. A... Oh, a and wife of you. Excellent. Well, where is she then? She should accompany us as well. Uh, she is uh, traveling. Not here. Ah, oh, well, since she's not here to do her due duties, I shall fill in in the moment. <laughs> 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 And she, These two can't flirt with each other for five months, and this is what happens. <laughs> she laces. Iris is not flirting. <laughs> she I laces one that is hand the, into the into your elbow and Iris, and. Uh, Iris, Iris, blink if you want help. How many times? <laughs> it's two for yes and one for no. What? That what? was not a yes or no question. No! You guys are talking. No! You're speaking to each other. Iris, wink if you need help. I actually can't wink. Ah oh, shit. Iris, flick your tail back and forth if you need help. That's rude. It is. No, why, you know? why would I know? Yeah, why would you know? <laughs> They're romantic. Why would you know? Oh, you? I've decided. Oh. Well, yes, it is. I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm very sorry. If I hadn't bothered to look for her, she wouldn't have been here, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is you. you, you Let's thing. go get a drink. <laughs> so, off you go. Down the main lane to the seven hats. Loud. Which you frequented before, and as you've seen uh, many times before, the not con in across the street there is the the bore and barrel, which is actually a bit of a a, a a bit of a sore thumb in the in this part of town. Whereas the seven cow seven cats lounge is smooth and befits the sort of uh, they got uh, that weather channel music. Right, they got that weather channel music. <laughs> it's and more it's baroque. Of, right, it sort of fits that the sort of like this is a moneyful part of town, uh, bougie, highfalutin. Mm-hmm. 
other words. Uh, <laughs> Adjectives. A third example. A third example. <laughs> but the Boar and Barrel uh, has a, a rougher edge to it. In fact, even from outside, you can hear sort of like rowdy music and uh, what almost could be mistaken for a bar fight happening inside. But nonetheless, you make your way into the uh, Seven Cats, which, oh, let me see if I can find some smooth jazz. <laughs> The Boar and Barrel isn't new, it's just... No, it's been there before. All right. Mm-hmm. Didn't we come over here, order drink, realize that we couldn't afford anything else, and then go eat at the Boar and Barrel one time? Or... I don't think you've been in there yet. Yeah. Okay. Went to the bookshop. No, been in there. We didn't eat anything at the bookshop, <gasps> You gotta get... You gotta get... Uh... Oh, yeah, more books? More books. Yeah, you right. More smut? The porn! Smut, 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 smut. Speaking of the Listen, porn, you're local on the eight. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> oh, the price is very good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. By the way, I was wondering. Um, could I borrow that from you at some point? Of course. Thank you. I just I'm lacking some good prose in my life. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. Thank you. Is that a game of light and shadows? You naughty one, aren't you? Oh, what? how far into the series are you? D- just on the second. Oh, I finished them all myself. Us ladies must get our tingles here and there when we can, can't we? Can't be trusted. The men can't be trusted, can they? Oh. Why? Um, <laughs> why? Why not? That hasn't been my experience, but... Wait, is that true? Well, as I mean, we, yeah, it I'm depends. Not... You, usually they can either have vigour or money, and obviously I chose the latter. Oh... Ah, then he had. It's the uh, cat place. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a drink, yeah? Is Vigor code for something? Because I'm pretty sure that one was the one that we were working on. I think I hear a cat. <laughs> so you go inside. Yes. <laughs> Mal. We would like to go inside. Uh, and some cats, yes. The dark. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The lights are dim, the tables are round, and the Big music is smooth. I'm gonna make no effort to hide the fact that I'm sneezing. <laughs> and if it happens to be in her direction, that's fair. You know. Anyway, yes. As you walk in, immediately Marietta walks up to the hostess and says, "Yes, Marietta Starfall. I'm a quite regular. Me and my friends here will be wanting a table." Um. Actually, we had a meeting with the uh, Bast. Duh. Bast. Bast. I'm so sorry. We actually had a meeting with Basta. Yeah, and the host sort of looks around and says, Oh, yes, yes, she was expecting you. There's a table reserved for you on the second level. Oh, thank you. And Marietta looking a little taken back. Oh, but stop clock and all that. <laughs> Shall we? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I guess. Yes, got... do I. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> oh, bless you. Oh, sorry. Yes, of course. I'll see you to your table then. Thank, thank you. you. She takes you up a level. Uh, there are uh, two levels of balcony. She takes you up to the second level, where a seat is, in fact, reserved for you with a little, you know, one of those little, like, tented cards oh. on it. Nice. That, that uh, just reads heroes. And uh, the hostess takes that away uh, and gestures for you all to sit. Basta informed me that the first round will be on the house. Is there anything I can get for you? What champagne do you like? Me? Well, it's all rather fetching. So, which... Uh, Marianne! (laughs) (laughs) If you were going to order a champagne, which would you take? Oh, well, uh, if you want to talk my favourite champagne, I don't know if they would even have it here, but... Oh, Champagne de la Sant. I'm sorry? Oh, it's a Barovian blend, I'm sorry. But, but, uh, is that in Orlais, or...? No, they're fabulous wine, though. Uh, you know, any kind of champagne would be lovely. I don't really care. But how special, then? Thank you. But of course, and for the rest? I will take one of those as well. Thank you. Excellent choice. Do they not do mead here? Do you do anything very sweet? Oh, yes. Uh, we do have a mead, in fact, imported from Malon. I would like one. <laughs> yes. Please. Thank you. That was the but correct of course. answer. <laughs> Shek, do you... If I cast destroy water on alcohol... <laughs> No, it concentrates it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just alcohol. You just have alcohol it powder. It should be more alcohol. Okay, so it'll leave the impurities. Destroy water. And this is going to be a DM call. <laughs> oh my god, we could make Everclear. <laughs> Why would you want to make Everclear? You don't to really poison some frat boys. I to make someone go blind. I just <laughs> create or destroy water. You either create or destroy water. 
the fact that you can destroy fog then intenuates to me that you could do it on a beer or an alcohol. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> like, well, meant to be on the water in the alcohol, <laughs> leaving more alcohol. You basically just be making moonshine. Uh, <laughs> water. Make it easy. Ah, well, but of course, uh, tap or bottle. Oh, because should I get the bottle that's on the house? Yes. Evian. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, okay, great. So she goes. Uh, great. So, there you sit. Uh, and after a moment, uh, the uh, champagne is brought back, uh, and the mead and the water for Kashek. Uh, and she says, uh, Bass will be along shortly. Do enjoy the music. Thank you. Thank you very much. She goes. Hip. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is going to keep happening. Meanwhile, I've scooped one into my lap. <laughs> <laughs> you get Sam. Esper, who <gasps> is the psychic type. Yeah, yes. she's, my, yeah. she's my favorite. She's like purple. She's sort of a like a sunny orange color. <gasps> oh, she's orange and a girl. That's yeah. rare. So is Dusty. Okay. Yes, my cat is oh. fair. My cat is shiny. Um, <laughs> she's a shiny. If I reach out and look, look how cute. Oh, She's very cute. Yes, so. Pet my cat. Doesn't that make you sneeze? Well, you know, I think sometimes petting. if you want the pleasure of petting something small, furry, and cute, you have to put it up with it. <coughs> Sorry. You're right, maybe I should stop doing that. <laughs> I just don't want you to get it in your drink. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's a nice drink. This it is, is good delicious. meat. It is Muma's special brew. This is the best mead. <laughs> I'm happy you could yes. find some. I, I, I suppose you can find anything in the capital. Uh, I don't know why I didn't expect to find it here, but it is comforting. Hmm. <laughs> you have a cat? <laughs> some smooth jazz? Great. So, after a while, uh, Basta does uh, come up to your table and says, Ah, you got my letter then. Yes. yes, so sorry it took us a while to respond. No, no, not at all. I didn't know you were busy saving the Republic and all this. I am just humbled that you could take the time. Of course. Yes, of course. Do you mind if I sit? No, please, gladly. Uh, and she takes a seat. Enjoying the drinks, I hope. Very yes, much, yes. Thank you. We yes. only the finest. As you can see, we try here at the Seven Cats to cultivate an atmosphere that is both leisurely and adorable. I see you've taken quite the shine to Esper. Yeah, she's very cute. She can read people's auras, you know. Oh. It makes her very divining. The fact that she is uh, a cuddle up to you so speaks well of your character. <laughs> Well, well here I go on rambling uh, when I asked you here for something. Um, now, unless I much miss my guess, you are individual self character. Yes. It's been said of us, which is, I think, what proves one's character, no? A certain sense, sense of complementary skills, or each of you maintain. Yes. We are uh-huh. skillful, yes. Hmm. Obviously, you've done so much for the Republic already, and I almost feel bad asking, taking time out of your your busy schedules to attend to <laughs> matters so silly as mine. But you understand, here in Arcadia, pride is a sort of currency, and those that have it carry much weight, and those that have it would also do much to maintain it, you understand. This makes sense. Mm-hmm. Ah, I knew you were the divining sort. You take my meaning. I find myself in need of some specialized help. And I'm wondering if you could aid me <coughs> in a project, so to speak. Oh, I think that would depend on whether or not we're able to give that help and what kind of project it is. Well, you see, the grand irony is that I find myself in need of a cat burglar, so to speak. You want to steal someone else's cat? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I have plenty of my own, you see. Every year, every alehouse or lounge, bar, whatever you call it, in the Grand Square has a bit of a competition to see who can produce the finest vintage. Uh, those that, uh, the, the winner taking the prestigious honour of the prestigious brand of brewery. Uh, 
token, to be sure, but it does look quite nice on the mantelpiece and has looked quite nice on mine for many years, you understand. Mm. This year, however, that... And she sort of, like, her claw... You see her Ooh. claws, like, come out a little yeah. bit. And she kind of, like, cricks her neck more. a little bit. <laughs> that <laughs> ruffian across the street, the boar and barrel, I'm sure you've seen it, and a real eyesore, especially in this part of town. We have seen it, yes. Yes, well, it's propo- it's proprietor. Luther is his name. And the word on the street is that he's got something really special in the works this year. A rare spice from deep in the bogs far to the east. Very hard to procure, you understand, but somehow he's gone about and gotten it. Now, I'm not a superstitious one. I always land on my feet and all that. But I can't have this mystery ingredient from half a world away taking that treasure off my mantelpiece. You understand? So I'm wondering if you wouldn't be in for a bit of subterfuge. And before you judge me too harshly, know that this is all part and parcel amongst us connoisseurs of, of drink here in the capital. What is uh, Marion's... Yeah, I'm kind of like, what's Marion's starfall looking like right now? She looks very confused. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm not one to not want to stretch my legs. But I'm wondering if you couldn't just fabricate that you have gotten your hands on something even rarer and more flavorful? Is that the word? It is a word. Just sort of, you know, rumor mill it. Yes, and that would serve me very well right up until the competition. Oh. Now, normally <laughs> I wouldn't take this rumor and conjecture in any serious manner. People talk, you see. But my own special brew for this year has been somewhat destabilized by the troubles in the kingdom, I you see. see. And so my own crop this year I'm a little less than satisfied with. Is the only reason I take any serious threat from these rumors. But I am a pragmatic source and I prefer to head trouble off before it becomes trouble. You take my meaning. Anyway, I know you have a particular set of skills that may help me in this matter, and seeing as we've become fast friends so oh, so far, there's your time here in the capital, I thought maybe I could get you to help me. But would this victory not taste as sweet as one earned in earnest? Ah, you're right. Perhaps, but it is still sweeter than the bitter taste of defeat. If you say so. I do. And please, don't think me a monster for this cloak and dagger business. We all steal from each other. We all backstab and sabotage. It's simply part of the competition. And I'm very, very good at it. And I thought this year, perhaps, since we are new friends, and you are so skilled that maybe... You could be my ace in the hole. Well, I think we need to decide amongst ourselves. You understand that we do have things... Please forgive me, and as I know this place isn't your entire world, but there are things, you know, shaking continents that must be taken care of. But of course, and I wouldn't dream of asking you to do something that would take you away from anything truly important. It's a simple task, I ask, really. Simply you need to break into Luther's office and make away with the parcel of spice. Should not the work of a moment. As for me, I am I'm not really skilled in these matters, but... Um, yep, that's the whole sentence. <laughs> <laughs> a good one. Well, and a true one. And, of course, I would not ask such a... You know, such a task without speaking of first of compensation, for which you shall be richly endowed. Don't you mind? I am, after all, operating the most successful lounge in the city. A very rich city. You needn't fear compensation. Miss Basta, um, we do have matters to attend to in the Senate today, and so my only fear is that we will commit ourselves and then have to step back. So can we perhaps think of this as 
I wouldn't have you in, in interrupt any of your important business. Should Think of it as a side quest of sorts. Should other things not keep us from it, I think it would be nice to help a friend. But should something take us from it, it's unfortunate, but you understand. Certainly. And the judging is still not for some time, so please feel no urgency in this matter. Just let me know if it's something you think you can attend to, for if not, I shall have to seek other means. You understand? Mm. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, please do stay, enjoy yourselves. All drinks complimentary, as, as only natural. Please do enjoy the music and the company of my fine friends. And she raises herself elegantly. It has been such a delight talking to you. A pleasure, truly. <coughs> All in good time, dear. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, and Madam Starfall, a pleasure as always. And she turns on her heels and goes. <laughs> well... Look at you all rubbing shoulders with the big wigs of the city. My, my, you have come a long way since you pulled ragamuffins in from nowhere when first we met. I don't... She's going to get someone to steal it one way or the other. Why does it have to be us? <laughs> Why does anything ever have to be us? It doesn't feel right if he's finally got some kind of leg up on her. I, that, that's what I'm saying. Don't think of it so much as stealing. You know, in these competitions in the city, everyone cheats. It's like, you know, in in sports, uh, in, in the athletic games, you know. No one is supposed to take potions that increase your uh, athletic abilities, but everyone does, and so once everyone is doing it, that's just the new game. Do they? You know, it's like when the tax man comes around. <laughs> I've never needed a potion to, well... Oh, yeah. a potion of bull's strength here, yeah. eagle's splendor there, and suddenly you're taking home the gold. Potions have been useful to know. I was about to say I've never needed a potion to get through something. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. <laughs> no. Well, the healing... I sort of am not convinced that this Luther didn't just say that he's got something up his sleeve to... Mary has her finished her drink by the... Uh, just very rapidly. Carry on. Yeah, what, what the hell is she talking about? <laughs> I mean, we could go over there and see what he's all about. Sure. I, that's all I'm saying is that I wouldn't put it past someone if I wanted to intimidate my business competitor. And my business competitor had a lot of money and I may have looked like I did not have a lot of money. How could I get a spice from across the world? But if I told her, then she might be careless. But... What advantage does that actually give you? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Marianne, Sorry. are you okay? <laughs> what? Yes, great. You started making very strange noises. Mm, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> I like the song. It's a lovely <laughs> tune. It <laughs> isn't it just? Oh, yes. it's so tight, but it makes me feel young. Is she drunk? I'm not making an insight check. <laughs> yeah! Check. It's not very strong. Oh, yeah, a roll. <laughs> <laughs> the most auspicious roll of yep. getting back into it. One. Your first roll. <laughs> Minus or plus. Saren, you're drunk. No, no. That was a nine on the inside. Listen, all I'm you're saying eight. is, all I'm saying is that if I, I'm talking very loudly, aren't I? That's all right. The music sort of dulls it all out. You That's what I'm saying. Want, yeah, it's quite all right. You go, go. <laughs> what? Why is the cat? Sorry, why isn't the cat reading my aura? I don't know. What color am I? Oh, well, you're oh. purple. <laughs> <laughs> I think the cat has read your aura. Well, <laughs> she didn't exactly tell me anything. If you t- look into her eyes, and she'll tell you what time it is. Can it, what? Mm, that's not. <laughs> what does that mean? It works with Albert. Do what? Ah, oh, she's purring. Um, let's get a cat, you guys. We have one animal. We should get you a cat. <laughs> um, right now that that momentary bout of drug in has come and gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can be immune to poison if you want. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I forgot to. You're a monk. Not me. I went, 
<laughs> right. I forgot. Anyway. <laughs> oh, God, that's somebody. what I was doing. I would rather, I think, go speak to this Luther person, because, to yeah. be honest, Intel don't care which one of them wins. Well, it's not. I don't really... This is very much an, a one of you two or both of you two situation. <laughs> that's the thing. It comes down to us actually doing it. We've got more important and, frankly, more fun places to sneak into. And certainly, I mean... <laughs> Why do you want to sneak into? I just... Maybe I just want to hang out with my friend Zeri. Oh, all right. I, I don't think this was going to be... A, uh, I don't know anything about this. I just didn't think this was going to be a right now, sort of. No, no it's no, not. But it's... We've got shit to do. It's kind of nice to just have a drink and think about something that's not <laughs> earth-shattering for 30 seconds. No. Yes. Well, if I had to think about it... I can't say I'm good at that. I think you're much better at thinking than you give yourself credit for. Oh, thank you. It puts my enemies off guard. If I had enemies. Well... I don't have any enemies. Not anymore. It's just as friends he hasn't made yet. <laughs> don't do it. Well, not the one that... Th- they think you're dead, that's all. Yes. Well, look. You know what? We don't need to talk about it. I take it back. All right, fair enough. I'm saying... Someone who may have the trappings of a... Uh, lower class style building, I think, in a town like this. I wonder if it's not for show entirely. Right. You one yes. cannot work in this place and have not so much money. Yes. You have to get the right. tourist market somewhere. Yes, exactly. I was going to say something like that, and I can't think of the word I was going to use. <laughs> Although I bet they have meat as well. Although you can't do better than Mumasa Ul, so the best they could do is equal yes. what we have here in my head right now. I wonder if a novelty, a gimmick. That's where they that's get. That's what I was. That's where they say. get. That's Those what people like Marianne here slumming when they want to feel poor for a night. Although I'm sure you've never done that. Oh uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> <laughs> uh, It's such a pleasure to be amongst friends. Don't make me feel bad. Oh no, she's <laughs> sad. Do you think I care? <laughs> that's all right. Suffer, bitch. <laughs> Going on. Yeah, that's fine. She <laughs> has been alone in her. Oh, boo. sexually unfulfilling marriage. Boo! Yeah. Get a vibrator! <laughs> she has one, that's what she's saying. You think they don't sell it at the Queens Enchanted Dildo Shop? <laughs> yeah, if we tell her it's called the Queen's of Sarah, which we haven't done yet, I'm sure she's gonna lose her mind about that. There's no queen here. Right. Hang on, that was Madison feeling <laughs> things. Alright, anyway. Okay. Let's put ourselves back in Saren. We're in. She just said, uh, it's nice to be among friends. Oh. Yes. <laughs> You know, uh, it's nice to be amongst you, you know, in court life with all of the important people in the world. Everyone's just so caught up in their own business. Sometimes it's nice to be amongst you simpler folk, you know, when I can really just be myself and speak my mind. Did that help? Marianne. (laughs) Of course, why don't you do that right now? Oh, well, I think we should have another round of champagne. Well, all right. <laughs> uh, we do have to speak somewhere in... Po- well, you know, I can get rid of it. But can you speak in front of a crowd? Oh, it's too late for me, Saren. Oh, I okay. think we should have another round. And then I think we should go to this Queen's place and meet your friend. When is the vote happening? <laughs> what time again. is it? <laughs> it's still pretty early morning now. We'll say it's probably like 11. This bitch is sloshed before noon. Because well, you guys, Hi, well, because you guys, you guys got up and you tra- teleported through a tree. Oh yeah, you're right. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Time doesn't exist for us. So we. Well, she's <laughs> been up for eight hours since four a.m. Yeah. putting her <laughs> fucking makeup on. Also, what else are you doing? You're rich. Yeah. Like, exactly. Yeah. She's been eating a single quiche since three a.m. <laughs> oh. With a tiny fork. Just yeah. <laughs> justice for Mariana. Anyway, yes, the time is yours. Whatever. I you guess want. we'll get. Yes, we, we can, can have one more. One more. Everyone's doing one more? Yeah. Right. I mean, I will be fine. You're fine. You two give me a contract. <laughs> I'm <laughs> immune to poison. <laughs> That's true. Sir, you gave me a contract. Talk about your ever fail No, you scrum. roll a bad one. Don't fail me, Maestro. Oh, he did. Seven. Seven? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Was it a constitution? You're starting to think to yourself, guys, Mary ain't really that bad. She must be Am so Am I lonely. thinking <laughs> that? She Am must I be really so lonely. She reminds me of With my a seven, mom. yeah. She reminds me of my mom. <laughs> she does. But I kind of want my mom to come here and be like, yeah, well, my daughter's Siri Simri. <laughs> <laughs> and then what would she think? And then it's just a circle of what everyone is thinking. Marianne. Mm. Can I, can I, why am I the one giving advice? Uh, 
I'll do it anyway. I, I think mm. that. Meanwhile, it's sexy. Crazy. There's one. Mr. Known- D. Skiddly is not what I thought this first session back was going to be, but I'm really glad we're here. Yeah. There's one gnome in the back just going buck wild. Right. Of course, the gnomes would have been the saxophone. Yeah. Here's something that I do in my life, and mm. I don't know if it will make things different ah, for you. Yes. Tell me if you're rustic ways. I just think that everyone is important. And not just the people in the capital with money. Oh, yes, well, naturally, of course. Yes, everyone is important, but you know what I mean. People of import. That's what I mean, too. Well, yes, but I know, but you know what I mean. I do know what you mean, and I'm saying I think that might be the reason that you're... Why am I? Not able to speak your mind as often. No, it's not that I'm not able to speak my mind. It's just that, well, you know, I don't know. It's not that the feminine mind is mind is much appreciated in politics these days. Well, that's their problem. Someone's going to have to make it appreciated. You think that someone is me? Saren, your peasant wisdom has moved something in me. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> the DM is is off the rails. He's drunk on his own power. There's yeah, I could do this, couldn't I? Who are you to stop me? Who's to say I shouldn't be the successor to the throne? Yeah, why can't you be Duchess? Yeah, why I can't say, I no, be absolutely Duchess? Absolutely, I don't say that. <laughs> Well, fine, that solves our problem immediately. We don't want to have to pick one. That's it. When you speak to the Senate, tell them that I shall do it. You know... What? I... Here's the thing. is I'm dreadful at public speaking and private mm-hmm. speaking. Yeah, I believe you. Right. It's really making it hard. I felt bad for her for, like, this bit. I'm just saying that I wouldn't, if I were you, be afraid to be who I am. Yes. It's the best way to be, I've found. As they say, out of the mouths of babes. I'm <laughs> and all that. <laughs> I have to be at least it's four not... times older than she is, right? <sighs> this has been a splendid morning. I do thank you all for taking the time to out of your busy schedules to spend some time with me. Truly. I know we may not always see eye to eye. And I know that I'm so far removed from where you are in the world that it must be intimidating for you to be around me, but I do appreciate your friendship and your taking the time to say it to me like it is. Well, as I said, I'm dreadful at speaking in every way, so thank you for listening to my garbled nonsense. Oh, no. You're much wiser than you think, Sam. Well, if there's anything I am, according to this piece of paper, it's wise. <laughs> Actually, it's dexterous. It's dexterous. <laughs> Sam, don't you ever let a piece of paper tell you who <laughs> you are. Does anyone around this table have paper? What is she it's talking about? It's the napkin. Oh. <laughs> right. I've scribbled. Oh, I seem to have scribbled You've a heart right with an owl face. You've done that. <clears throat> and then I rip it into tiny pieces. Well, I must be getting back. It's nearly tea time, and I must host the ladies. But thank you all for spending a morning with me. Give them our best. Have a good tea. Speak your mind. You know, I think I shall. I think you should tell Yvette exactly what you think of her. Yes. Yes, give her a proper scouring. Yes, I think I just might. Thank you, friends. Mm. I do look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Good luck. She gets up a little wobbly. Makes her way out. Well, now it's Down not even stairs. fun to dislike her. She's just sad. That was not the worst interaction we had with her. No. Hmm. Do you? I. 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 I am a, a bit stuck on when she called me a barbarian, though. That did happen. I mean, she and I was very angry about it at the time. exclusively as a brute and beast just now. Yes, yeah, that's but that was very racist as well. Sexually charged. <laughs> yes, I got. And that. I think that was how she meant it. Oh. And that made me wildly uncomfortable. I didn't like that. No. So are you going to have to get over the fact that your dad's a sexual... Oh my god, I have to get over the fact that my dad's a sexual <laughs> being. Are you talking about high or no. dad? No! Okay. I don't want to talk about dads right now. Yeah, you're right. 
So if we decided who's speaking in front of the Senate, because, I think a um, Shek should do it. I'm very small, and I've had two glasses of champagne, and this is where I'm at. Your hair right looks now. fabulous right well, now. Thank you. <laughs> I don't do well in front of crowds. Nor do I. Uh, oh dear. I've only known four people before I came here. I mean, we could build a parchment shears for it. Make Andrews do it. Angers is already going to have to say something. Uh, yeah, it has to come from us because we're the heroes. Technically, Did you say you would do it, Iris? If, if I say something short, would that be enough? I think that would be lovely. I. Do you remember that you speech should... you gave in front of the, the church in Barovia? Yes. That was lovely. It was it's, under horrible circumstances. It feels like the opposite place. I think we need to say something nice about all of them. Not doesn't have to be individually, but like, they all look nice. The successors. You know? Yes, right. yes. <coughs> not, not the senators. Yeah, and that it's, I don't know, I'm not good with words. Hmm. We'd just be repeating what Angie said, is that all three of them could do it, but we need to pick one. And if it doesn't matter, then we just pick one, and we pick the one who wants to do it the best and the most, right? That will make us no friends. Unless we don't want friends. Do you hear some of the cats rolling dice in the background? This man. <laughs> Here to ruin my life. Um, so... <sighs> I, we will follow Angier's lead. Alright. Right. That sounds good. The thing is that I was really looking forward to Axel bothering Marianne as much as he bothers us and as much as she bothers us. We'll, we'll go on tomorrow. If she remembers that it's tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Right, she does not strike me as someone who is a novice to drinking. That's really I mean, unfortunate. So I'm sure she's... I, I, I mean, she'll remember is what I meant by that. That's ah, it's really sad. It really takes the fun out of... Are all men in Arcadia just shitty? No. You want to know why? Tell because me. when you say things like all men are shitty, you're giving men an excuse to be shitty. They go, oh, well, all men are shitty. That's how I have to be. You have to hold them to a higher standard. I don't think that I'm shitty. I don't no. think you're shitty. Well, I, oh. I'm, I meant here. And well, I was talking about my... I could my be dad, wrong. My not Please, I, if I am wrong... I think it's money. Sir, just not all men herself. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about my mom's husband. That's weird to say. Father. And also... Well, you know, the two things Mrs. that they have Sofa. in common, besides her being men, is that they both have money. Not anymore. Oh. Right. I don't feel so bad about that. I was just going to say it takes kind of the fun out of whatever game Marianne plays with us if I know that she's unhappy. You know? Yes. <sighs> I, that's... <sighs> there is complexity to everyone. That's what I just told her. I need to take your, my own, my, our own advice, hi <laughs> Sorry, the champagne got to me. Ah, that. You're immune to poison. <laughs> she had another sip. Well, I'm fine again. <laughs> All right, what's you the plan, kids? More. If we're okay. if we're gonna knock back this flute of champagne and then go back to the capital, we should go back to the great idea to or the the, the Ducal Palace. Yes, uh, I know it is not until the afternoon, but it is maybe the noon, and Anytime I wouldn't afternoon. want to be not there. Right. That would be bad, I think. Yes. If we're on the way out and I happen to spot Basta or the hostess. You do. You see Basta. Moving between tables, like, you know, giving cursory glances to some of the patrons and, you know, rubbing some shoulders. If I could, if I could sneak up, like, tactfully, or mm-hmm. if I could get her attention to come and talk to me, either one. She sees you. Yeah. She catches your eye and intuits, yeah, and makes her way over to you. What sort of import business do you do here? Whatever do you mean? I just mean, uh, from how far away do you import? Well, it depends on what the need is, but uh, Arcadia, you know, is a hub of goods from all over the wide world, and men, naturally many of those things flow into my lounge. Why? Why do you ask? It's a little winery we stumbled upon once that I just think... They have some gems. 
<laughs> take it <inspiration. laughs> Yeah! yeah. <laughs> take it inspiration. I didn't even yeah, think of that. Geez. That was it, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm always open to new and exciting markets. If you can make a contact, I'd be more than happy to host. Oh, lovely. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, there you yes. Go. <laughs> uh, the contact's name would be Davian. Not a name I'm familiar with. Darby and Martikov. Um, I'd be surprised if you were. They're a bit secluded, but next time we speak, I'll put you in touch. Well, you know where to find me. Thank you. Thank you. And do let me know about what we discussed. Yes, of course. She bows. Uh, sorry. Sorry, guys. What? I uh, just <gasps> had a word with Bastard as we were leaving. Sorry, you have to put the cat down. You cannot take it. We'll get you one. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't think the cat would leave. No. They always really like you for some reason. Their little faces are so cute. I know. I do like that they close their eyes when they're happy. They do have little faces. They do. So small. Little noses. All right, back to the cat, back to the (laughs) palace. Yes. Let's do it. Okay. Off you go. Any plans before the vote, or or do we just want to fast forward? Do. Sorry, is it a bigger statement if I wear my muddy, dirty traveling clothes, or should I put something nice on? That's what I was thinking, but I also don't have any nice clothes. We could get you some nice clothes. <gasps> we do know somewhere to go to get we, nice clothes. Uh, uh, do, uh, do we need? do know somewhere to go to get nice things. Do we Adam need Mary's. nice clothes is all I'm saying for this. Well, I've got some. I've got some. Do you want some? No I, matter whether or not we wear them tonight or not. I don't feel a strong need for them in my life, but <clears> if they're going to be useful in this thing this afternoon... Keep in mind that they were not there really immediately. That's true. She and I'm things on the rack. Mm. It's up to you then. Mm. Are Are you going to be dressing nicely for this? Well, uh, you are speaking in front of the entire Senate. I suppose we. But is it like we already wore these outfits to the dinner? You know. Yeah, and that had an exploding statue. I don't think many people saw them. All right. Unless you think it was the outfits that caused the bad luck for the statue to explode. I don't think it was. I think it was the dinner invitation, as we have famously oh, bad right, luck right, right. with. Well, it looks like we're wearing our nice things. Good. Well, then perhaps on the way back to the palace, um, we could, I could stop somewhere and find something. Yes, uh, if you lovely. know a place. We know yes. where to go, yes. All right. To Mary Trope. Madam Mary, Mary, Trump. Mary Trump? Okay. Yes, really. yes, and we're off. <laughs> we got time. Who knew it was going to be a shopping episode? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew the first one back? Off you go. The two Madam Mary Tropes, uh, Mystical Menagerie. It's in the same big old square, right? Yeah, it's in mm-hmm. the same place. Uh, so, yeah, you make your way in, inside, much as it was the first time. There's, it's, a, it's a strange place. There's sort of a. Uh, the air is a little bit musty, and there's like. It's like, you know those like circular racks? That you hid in when you were a kid. Yep. Yeah. They're all the way up yeah. to the ceiling, like Whoa. multi-tiered with clothes all around, and like packed full. Like there's not a lot of room to maneuver in this place. You make your way inside, and there's a long wooden counter at the end. You don't see anyone behind, but there there is a bell to ring. If you want to do that, this feels kind of like Malorn, but for clothes. I agree. Yes. They're like trees. Yes. I agree. I, that's all I had on that one. Would you like to do the honours? I don't think, unlike in Malone, I don't think that bell is a turtle. Ah. <laughs> Ding. Just one minute. Shuffling out from through the uh, the silk lace curtain, coming up uh, is Madame Mariatrope. She look in her, you know, she has like these really lovely, eccentrically colored garments on, and the big bug eye glasses. And as she makes her way through, and she takes stock of all of you. Oh, it's you! Oh, you've come back! I can't tell you I've done such a spot of business since you wore my garments at the festival. Oh, I'm so glad you've returned. Is that, what is it I can do for you, my friends? You're all looking so well, and I must admit, <laughs> like a proud grandparent, I've been keeping track of your escapades across the land. Oh, what a bit of business you've been up to. Well... We've done so well with the nice things that you made for us. We were wondering if perhaps you wouldn't have something maybe already made that would do our friend Hyros well. 
Oh, well, a rather big fellow, aren't you? Uh, uh yes, <laughs> afraid so. Um, it, we, I'm hoping to wear something this afternoon, so obviously nothing can be created new. But if there's anything that fits and suits me... Well, uh, perhaps a fitted suit. <laughs> for you, I'll spin something up extra special for my favorite customers. Oh, thank you. Oh. Uh, and uh, let me just and she makes her way over and like from one sleeve she pulls out a, a, a measuring tape and immediately like begins like putting her arms and, and legs in various positions taking your measurements she says oh damn <laughs> a healthy one you are yes uh, I'm a little you. hard to fit you see before it's your shoulder at 28 waist <laughs> <laughs> what is it you're after master uh, if you have anything that is um uh, a little, uh, what do they say? Rustic, perhaps? Ah, I take your meaning. Maybe a fine, a fine vest. Oh, yes, and, and maybe something that gives uh, the legs some freedom, perhaps. I do take your meaning. Oh, it's so good to see you all again. Uh, you know, I shall spin something up rather quick. I, I dare say. Why don't you all come back for a moment while I whip something up? Oh, if, if, that, if it's not intruding. Uh... No, no, I... Uh, I think it might be nice. Come with me. Certainly. Sure. Yes. And she so uh, right. makes her way through the... Uh, try the, not to knock over the drying rack. <laughs> the, the, yeah, she makes her way through the silk curtain behind the countertop and she gestures for all of you to, to come back inside. As you do so, the uh, back room of the shop is completely covered in spider webs. Oh, I am okay. Uh, um, where are these fellows from? <laughs> what? Oh, yes. Well, uh, <laughs> please, you must understand. My style is not only eccentric by means of my very taste, but also by means of production. And, well, seeing as you're my best customers and trusted friends, I. I want to bring you in on the process as I make a garment for this fine strapping No, man. no, no, I think I'm, I'm fairly familiar with how it's, it's done. I'm just wondering where they are from. Oh, well, you see, I uh, just wanted to touch it up and make it feel a bit more like home. For... What the hell? <laughs> as she takes off one of the silk garments that is flowing over her shoulders... And four massive spider legs <gasps> Is she? come out <gasps> of her back. She takes off her huge spectacles and eight pinpoint <laughs> eyes oh, she's... glisten no, behind no. her glasses. I'll have something for you in just a minute. Where are you? Uh, uh, and she you... takes her huge spider legs and begins spinning silk from underneath her dress whipping it between her four varied legs you, you, and you begin to see it take shape first just a sort of globular uh, lengths of silken spider silk as she maneuvers her many legs and she starts working at it with her hands and you begin to see the garment begin to take shape as she maneuvers and uh, weaves it into something. A little bit of color, I think. And she takes one of her many legs and dips it into a pot of ink, coming away with a deep, rich green, working that into the piece of fabric. As if almost by magic, by virtue of her legs and hands moving so swiftly, the garment begins to take shape before your very eyes. And before too long, a fine, like, broached vest comes into being and she makes her way over it and drapes it over your shoulders, Hyros. What do you think? I, uh, it, it's perfect. Th th thank you. It, it looks lovely. It, it fits, um, yes. Snug as it... In the rug. in this instance, Gary, <laughs> but I take your meaning. <laughs> well then, pants with a bit of room to breathe, here we go! Oh, and again, oh. she starts working on the second piece of your oh. And this continues in, yeah. you know, uh, many of the ways, and after only about 
you know, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. She has a uh, something prepared for you, spun from her very own silk. Well, it could be anything you like. What would you like it to be? I'm thinking like a like a long dressy kilt. Mmm. Yeah. Delicious. That's what yeah. For. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, probably in a. I mean, if it, it's probably green to go with the the vest a bit too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Looking fine. Madison, no. And I don't mean this in the drow way before anybody points their finger, but is she like drider shaped? No. Or is she just like a big spider She's something lady? else. She's just like a spider lady. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Are we to take that 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 was an illusion or? Her, she had she had a hat of Rictavio, but they were glasses. <laughs> many, uh, many and varied are the wonders of the world, and when we come across them, we ask not but why, just marvel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I've been standing here this whole time like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For a split second there, you were like, you must understand. And I was like, <laughs> I felt like the dark goddess compels me or something. I was like, this is really not how I expected this to be. Again with the spider people, and hey! I have to eat you now. Uh, <laughs> uh, and once she's finished, the she, her, she kind of contracts her legs back and puts a shawl back over herself, puts some big glasses back on. And again, you just see as the appearance of two human eyes blinking behind them. Wow. Well, I, I hope you are satisfied. I uh, thank you so much. It is uh, perfect, and I, I look forward to um, sh- showing off for for your sake. You're very welcome. I was so pleased when you decided to take a chance on me. I'm here in the big city. It's there for all the people. It's hard to find those who you can really put faith. Well, uh, please, how much uh, do I owe you for not, this? Uh, not at all, not at all. It costs me nothing, and to see you out in the world brings me much joy. Our arrangement is that we simply do a bit of light advertising, that's all. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, of course. I will be sure to um, let all who inquire know exactly where this finery was acquired. Well, I do hope you shall stop in again soon. Yes, Anytime you need... Thank you ever so much for your uh, generosity. But of course. Well, I'm sure you have much business to attend to. <laughs> I've spent enough, quite enough time with quirky old Marriottrope. Uh, honestly, our business is far less pleasant, but thank you. Business often is. Goodbye, my friends. Ah, thank you. Farewell. I'm going to wait until we're a generous couple of blocks away. (laughs) Okay, fair enough. (laughs) She has to know I feel a way about spiders! (laughs) Sorry. Well, you looked quite distressed in there. (laughs) Your mouth was open. I didn't want to say anything for fear of making more accidental bug puns. You think I was going to catch a fly in it? That was my first thought. I didn't want to say it, but I thought it. As a dad, they come fully formed into my head. Oh, good. I mean, obviously I don't feel any differently about her, but it was a bit of a surprise. We didn't know no. she was a... It was. Yes. It was we a didn't surprise. Know you didn't know that also? No. no. Oh, 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 okay. okay, am I supposed to be able to tell that everyone's a spider? Is that... <laughs> I was well, maybe asking everybody. I didn't know. that she had already shown us that, but no, she had not. Right. No. She the just last time you were here, I was like, the curtain is wafting. That's... Beckoning you for, but we no didn't want to intrude on her private space. I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Next, you're gonna tell me Mumasa Ul is a giant turtle. No, that's the no, bookshop. That's, that's the bookshop. Tell that's, you. That's so silly. I'll show you. No. Uh, <laughs> well, great. We've got things to wear. Shall we go get changed and wait for? Andrea? Wait. I suppose we should. And back to the palace. It is time for the vote. Nice. All right, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, that was great. And the thing is happening next time. Yes. The thing. The Jesus thing. Christ. It's, it's only happening. Been almost a year in the making.